Sick porcini color. <laughs> this like really warm orange brown that has like a yellow at the edge and then white at the very edge. And you can see it's kind of like a flap. It doesn't like bind directly to the tubes. Um, other things about edgeless, super tightly packed pores. They're not big round pores and they're not angular. Um, and they're pale. They're like super white at first. Um, now look at the stock. What does the stock look like to you? It's got a pattern on it. Anyone else want to venture a description there? Oh, I can't believe we found this. It's <laughs> To me, it always looked like a fishnet, like, yeah. you know, cast out. But that's called reticulate. And that's a super, super important thing to pay attention to when you're identifying boletes. Um, some boletes are non-reticulate at all. Some of them have little dots. Some of them have glandular, like, sticky, slimy dots. And some of them have this dry reticulum. Um, and that's a really important characteristic to pay attention to. Um, so if you've got a mushroom in the Santa Cruz area that's got tight, pale pores like this, you know, you can't, you can't even really see the openings. They're so young. When they get older, you can see them. But um, this color pores, this color cap, and then a reticulate stout stipe, um, and then the flesh on this thing is all white, you know you've got one of the Porcini group. And there's three species. The king, this one, the queen, which has got, it can be really hard to tell apart, and we'll talk about that in a second. And then the white king, which looks like this, but has a dry white cap. Um, they're all really good at Wait, what's the difference between the queen and the white king? Um, the queen looks more like the oh, king. Okay. Yeah, it looks really similar. And sometimes you find a mushroom that is not safe to assign one way or the other, and you just have to say it's a porcini clade bully. Okay. Um, but usually the queen is stouter, so shorter, wider. Um, that's not useful in and of itself. You have to combine characters. It's usually darker, like a really dark, even brown cap. It doesn't have this nice fading, mm -hmm. although sometimes it has that. Um, it's got a whitish bloom, a white powder, that covers the cap sort of splotchily. Um, Sometimes kings show that, but it's usually when they're like really sheltered and the pine needles cover them still, um, whereas the queens seem to retain it longer. And then the queens grow with more hardwoods than conifers, um, but so do the kings sometimes. So uh, it's a combination of characteristics. The queen's pores age more greenish olive brown than the kings, which age more reddish brown. So there's a number of characters you have to learn to weigh. Um, they're also extremely reticulate on the stipe. Um, but they taste really good, so if you make a mistake, it's not a problem. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Kings have a really nice smell and taste. They're a good mushroom raw, actually. Um, stipes are particularly good. It's like the sweet meat of the bully, I think. Um, not as flavorful as the cat, but the texture is awesome. I'm not too concerned about squirrels. So. <laughs> you can definitely get the king flavor off it. I wouldn't eat this part, say. But... <laughs> You know, something where it's nice and white and fresh still, like right there. I'm not concerned about it. So if any of you want to try it, go for it. <laughs> try it. I'm good. So this is a pretty <laughs> typical habitat to find porcini in in our area. Um, pines, manzanita, oak. Could be pairing with any of these things. It's probably paired with the pine. 